Again, I'm Dr. Ajay Shah. This is our happiness interactive workshop. This is segment number 11 out of 20. If you are on YouTube, please watch segment one to 10, segment one to 10 in a row, segment one to 10 in a row. This is segment 11 out of 20. It starts with a great quote by Aristotle, my favorite philosopher, my favorite Greek philosopher, the different men seek happiness in different ways by different means. So again, we all get happy by different ways and different means. Also next, a major quote from Benjamin Franklin, uh, happiness consists more in small pleasures that occur every day than in a great pieces of good fortune that happens but seldom. So again, every day, small, small things we should be enjoying, we should be getting happy about. That brings another great quote from C.P. Snow, an English novelist. He said that if you pursue happiness, you will never find it. Just like Viktor Frankl said that if you go after happiness, you will never find it. So again, to be happy, you have to do certain actions. You cannot just say that I'm going to be happy. You have to do certain things and happiness will come to you. That brings a, another great quote from David Thomas, a singer, says happiness is taking action. So we have to take action to be happy. So let's see what actions you can take starting today to be happy. Number one is exercise. Physical activity or exercise is very important to be happy. Minimum 30 minutes, three times a week. You can actually, in my opinion, ex should exercise every day. There was a research done, there was a study done, but 30 minutes of exercise three times a week was better than matter of fact, taking Zola. So again, 30 minutes of exercise three times a week was better than taking Zola, better than Zola. And it actually prevented recurrence of depression better than Zola. So exercise not only makes you happy, but it also treats the depression and prevents the depression. I recommend one hour of brisk walking or jogging. And if you can run at least uh, uh, five times a week, uh, five to six times a week. You can also add weight training, yoga and stretches and Tai Chi. Exercise definitely makes us happy. It brings us better mood. It has a less chance of depression, better sleep. Physically, it makes us healthy. It makes us more creative. Matter of fact, it even makes a better grade. So I tell our daughter Saloni all the time that as a student, she should be exercising at least five times a week, you know, preferably every day. If you exercise, make sure you track it. You can track it with exercise by Fitbit type device or by Apple Watch. Because that is, it's very important, you know how much exercise you're doing on a daily basis. I track my exercise every day with Fitbit device for the last three years, and I know I'm getting enough steps. Next thing in life, next thing in life to be happy, very important thing is getting adequate sleep. So we all need minimum seven hours of sleep, seven to eight hours sleep. Matter of fact, 30% uh, uh, of Americans don't get seven hours. 30% of Americans don't get uh, seven hours. We have a separate video on sleep on YouTube. So please watch that video on YouTube. It essentially describes all the consequences of poor sleep, including uh, obesity, diabetes, cancer, even longevity in terms of how long you live. All those that are consequences, they're on that video. Please watch that video. Uh, how to improve sleep, including exposing yourself to sunlight, exercising, not having too much coffee, uh, avoiding blue light on your phone, on your iPad, on your TV. So again, that same video on YouTube, on our channel on sleep, uh, watch that video, how to improve sleep. And definitely track your sleep. You can track your sleep by Fitbit type device, and you know how much deep sleep you are getting, how much RAM sleep you are getting, how much light sleep you are getting. So again, very important to track your sleep. Next thing which makes us happy, uh, which will make us happy is meditation. Again, meditation has been proven definitely to improve your happiness score. It also improves your gray matter, it improves your sleep, it improves your creativity. Uh, there's a less chance of depression, anxiety, and meditation actually makes you live long. It makes you uh, have more material success. So meditation is very important. Minimum 20 minutes twice a day, or at least once a day is a good start for you. There are different types of meditation. You can even do a walking meditation, which I do myself. You can do a sitting meditation. There's a meditation called loving kindness meditation, where you actually close your eyes and wish well health uh, and well, uh, well being to your loved one. And that's called loving kindness meditation. You can do a mantra meditation where you recite a word in your mind or recite out loud like a chanting. And that's also uh, other type of meditation. You can also do meditation by just simply observing your breath. 
where you are with your closed eye or open eyes, you essentially see how the air is moving to your nostril in a slow fashion, very slow breath. So you can again do this meditation. We also have done a video on how you can increase your vagal tone, how you can increase your parasympathetic uh, stimulation on a YouTube. That video is already on YouTube. Watch that video. People who have a higher vagal tone, people who have higher parasympathetic uh, uh, stimulation, parasympathetic. Uh, again, have a higher chance of happiness, longevity, and many physical health. So improve your parasympathetic tone also. The next uh, thing which uh, has a higher chance of making us happy is being very mindful, being very mindful. Uh, mindfulness has been uh, around for thousands of years. So that concept in Western world is a new thing, but I think in my opinion, we all need to be mindful. That means no mind wondering, no multitasking. You know, for a time being in 80s and 90s, multitasking was a big word. It was big promoter that you should be multitasking, but we have realized that multitasking actually has backfired. Multitasking has backfired. When you multitask, that means you are not doing any task with all the due diligence, with all the details. So multitasking is no, no. The current going is no multitasking. Uh, Actually, some mindfulness, like pleasant mind wandering, is sometimes has some benefits. But in my opinion, be mindful as much as possible. Uh, there's also some breathing exercise called pranayam. Again, we have a separate video on YouTube also. I think on Facebook also, if you scroll down. And doing some breathing exercise or pranayam, 15 minutes once or twice a day also gives you higher sense of happiness. So that concludes our current segment. That Let's reflect on this segment. How much exercise you do? When you exercise, how does it make you feel good? Do you meditate? Are you planning to start meditation? And my last question for this segment is, how is your sleep? And do you track it? So again, this concludes our current segment. Uh, there are 20 segments. Please watch them in sequence on YouTube. We are on Facebook. We are on Twitter. We are obviously on YouTube also. And we are on Instagram. Please like all our social media. Invite your friends and family uh, on the social media. Uh, we post every day. For example, on Facebook, we post four to five, six times a day. They're all healthy tips on healthy lifestyle. So like, like us on all social media. Thank you. Hope you're enjoying so far.